Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me ask my boy John G. What up, man? John G. What up? What up? It's good. How's life, man? Things are good, man. Things are good. All right, guys, don't miss on anything that happens on CodingFace.com. Subscribe and click the notification, and you will get notified every time that I drop a new video or a new content. Alan, what's good? What's good? Can you hear me? Yeah, I could hear you. You could hear me? Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. How's life, man? Uh, Doing good. Just doing stuff on the weekend, you know, just enjoying it. Hey man, you you gotta enjoy the weekend, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely, especially from work. So, so uh, how long you been a developer? How long you been in this, man? Uh, I'll say since like May of 2015. Okay, so yeah. you start, you started working already? You? Uh, uh, no, I've been working. I'm just trying to currently trying to move to another stack. Mm. That's what I'm currently working on. What's I'm currently like a Java developer oh. at, a, at a company. Um, currently trying to move to maybe like Ruby stack or probably Node, but probably more to, towards Ruby since there's more, it's more stable. Mm -hmm. I would say. Now that's how that's how I think. I think that that would be a really good good move for you. Plus, you have uh, since 2015 you've been working or. Um... Yeah, it's like I worked on one company for about. Maybe about a year, and then got laid off from there because of how their system works. Mm -hmm. And then pretty much did like an odd job for seven months, <laughs> delivering packages door to door, just to get by. And then got hired into another company like seven months later. Okay, uh, here and where I currently live at. So where you from? What part, what part are you from? Right now? Uh, uh, from Texas, uh, San Antonio. Hey, 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 hey <laughs> Texas! You already know that's my peoples out there, man. Shout out to H Town. You already know we ain't here sourcing it. You know, shout out to the Sauce Twins, man. We out here, man. All right, so let's get it. <laughs> All right, so it's hot, man. I mean, you already have uh, skills, right? You already know programming. You already know Java. So all those skills that you have and the experience that you have, you could easily transfer it to another stack. Now is it's it's time for you to just uh, start building your portfolio as if you really want to become a Ruby developer. Uh, the things that I will say really focus on is uh, building full applications and don't do what a lot of people do. Like they create applications and don't give access to the application, right? Like you want to create an application that you have a backend, meaning an admin section. <laughs> so I see, I see a lot of times people come in and be like, Hey, here's my blog. And you know, it's like the blog is cool. It shows that, you know, the crowd, you know how to work the, the framework, you know how to work with databases, migrations, the whole shebang, right? But now you want to have an admin section and you want to be able to uh, supply whoever's the employer, like somewhere at the bottom and say, hey, here's the, the password to an admin, um, to the admin user. So now the person could go in there and say, oh, cool. He has an, an online store. This is pretty legit. Let me log into the online store see everything working they could add products they could um check or what products sold like you know what i mean like you want them to see that you are ready for prime time and you really know the framework because in ruby on rails another thing too that they really ask for a lot is uh testing unfortunately they they got the r spec and all that bs i hate that part i hate that part of ruby on rails you mean like but, the testing testing part the testing side yeah, yeah. i hate yeah that. i don't I don't have much experience with actual testing, so that's why I pretty much have to jump up on trying yeah. to get more into that just to prove in case I apply for any jobs that may require any testing libraries or frameworks or that. So yeah. we're gonna but, practice but that. Even at that. Even at that, you're you're fine because with the skills that you have and the experience that you already have, they you know, though if you have the right projects you and you can show them like, hey, listen, I could build whatever you want, then from there what they will do is like, okay, maybe you don't have that much years in uh, doing text, uh, testing. So because you don't have testing that much, you know, we'll take like a, a $5,000. If they was going to pay you $90,000, they, they'll pay you eighty five, dollars right? Who cares? It's $5,000. You're still going to get hired. You know what I mean? I, I've seen people, I know one of my friends who was like pissed off because he had gotten a, a Ruby on Rails position and they, they deducted him like 
uh, five thousand dollars because he didn't have the skills uh, as far as like testing. So the position was like for ninety, ninety two, ninety three thousand dollars or something like that, and they deducted him like five thousand dollars. So it was like a eighty. 88 or something like that. And he was like pissed off. I was like, man, I'm not going to take the job. I'm like, bro, it's $5,000. Like, you know, it's like $200 less on your check. Like, just freaking take it. You know what I mean? So you're going to be fine. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just got to have the portfolio up because how I got my jobs, I just straight through resume and applying. So I haven't had a portfolio at all to get jobs, but that's because I graduated from college with a CS degree. So that's pretty much the main reason why yeah, <laughs> they gave me yeah. a chance. Yeah. So I'm not one of the typical audience for this channel, but I, I do watch your channel a lot and your videos are, have all those gems in there and it's just and also in turn to watch at the same time. So yeah, no, it taught me some stuff that I didn't know. So, you know, yeah, no, it, definitely it is helpful. So no, I'm really glad. Look, this channel is for everybody. We welcome everybody here. You know, I used to have a, a side persona of Kumbaya Joe, but Kumbaya Joe passed away. Now is joe hollywood uh hogan you know what i mean so it's like now we got a new character coming in but we welcome everybody you know um and at the same time it's like listen uh there's things that i tell people all the time that you could take some things that fit for you and some things that don't fit for you like not everything on the channel is gonna be for everybody meaning like i might one day i might talk about a topic that relates to you and then the next day it might relate to the the next person you know what i mean so for you as a uh you know computer science uh developer you know somebody with a, a cs degree like that's exactly what i'd be telling people like hey when like let's say for them who are self-taught developers if you don't have that degree what's gonna happen is if you don't have a portfolio you're done you're not getting in period now you, because you are a developer, you already have a, a CS degree. You could say, hey, man, I know everything. I already know the theory. I already know the data structures. I already know I have a, a, a history. This is something that, that shows on your resume like, hey, this holds weight. When you're a self-taught developer, the only thing that holds weight is the projects and the first impression. If you give somebody a good impression and be like, damn, how the hell this guy, his website look better than our website? You know, they want you automatically. And even for you too, now that you're you're focusing more on, on the website, right? Like, let's say, I don't know um, if you, as far as Java, were you doing like spring or were you doing like what, what exactly were you focused uh, on? Well, uh, to be honest, currently for this whole, uh, for this whole year, they pretty much have me working with Salesforce instead of Java. So that's pretty much the main reason why I'm looking mm -hmm. <laughs> because, I'm using Salesforce. It's okay, but it's not really my thing. I'd rather focus more on actual development and front end, back end, you know. Uh, so I thought maybe if I can switch to Ruby, I can do more fun stuff in the web. So yeah. that's pretty much what I feel I want to do. But the but the company itself and all that, it's like real nice to work there and all that. And it, it is a good place to work. It's just the actual work that they have me do for this new year. It's not really my cup of tea, but, you know, it is what it is. But, you know. But mainly, I also want to try to be more f of a full-time developer because right now I'm working like on a contract to hire basis. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to focus on is either try to either try to get another job with Ruby, either remotely or in my area first, or try to convert full-time so I can try to uh, do an internal transfer to another project or team that does use the skills that I would want to use. So that's like my plan, either one or the other, whatever, whichever happens first. And in the meantime, I'm just working on trying to just to brush up on any gaps I have in my web dev knowledge and then trying to get more comfortable with the Ruby stack and try to make projects out of that so I can actually have actual real web projects to show to employers that, look, I made I made these web applications and this is what they look like. And then they look like all nice and all that, so pretty and whatever. So that's pretty much my goal right now, just working towards that. But other than that, I'm, I'm pretty good. And no, that's I'm not, man. All right. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, CodingFace.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro.